Hey, what's going on guys? Today I have a really useful tutorial for you guys. I found this really, really helpful, and um, it is how to get your iPod data, such as music, videos, etc., uh, back on your computer. Uh, normally you can't do this, but this software will allow you to do so, and it's very, very useful to transfer, say, data from iPod to iPod, and it's free. So. Uh, open your Google search or any search bar. I recommend Google. Um, and search up this link. Sorry about that. Right there. Um, iRip, the little app factory. Google search that. And, um,. It'll be the first link, www.thelittleappfactory.com, rip your pod, uh, click it, uh, download, free download for PC, download it on your desktop, and uh, it should be there, double click it and run it, follow the steps. It may tell you to download this, it's a, some uh, Microsoft setup if your computer doesn't have it, uh, but it gives you, it supplies you with a link so you can download this for free. Um, so that's that. Yeah, if you get uh, that issue, it'll just follow the link and download and run this as well. And then um, double click your iRIP, run it, follow the terms and conditions, and install it. And wherever you installed it to, uh, get to it. The default uh, save that it saves to is in my computer, in your C drive, in programs and files. And uh, you want to just look for the one that says the little app factory. And there you'll see the iRIP folder. Um, then you want to just have your uh, iPod connected and synced with iTunes, but make sure iTunes is not open in this process. Uh, go ahead and close iTunes. Um, and then run iRIP. And uh, you should get this icon. And I give that a moment to load up. And uh, don't worry about this registration and buy now thing. Just ignore it. Um, it should recognize your device. Mine is the 5th Gen Nano. Um, and then I recommend automatic recovery, which basically uh, the program will take all of your iPod's music, everything in your iPod, basically music, videos, movies, and it'll put it all back in your iTunes library. So I recommend that, unless you want to manually uh, take what you want out in your iTunes library. But after that, just click continue, and uh, it will rip all of your iPod files from your iPod back in your iTunes library. And once it's finished, you can close it, open up your iTunes, and in your iTunes library, all your music should be back. So I hope this video was helpful. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.